How many Ku Klux Klan members are in Alabama? That's the sentence in an assignment a parent told Way 31 Huntsville students were given. She says her son and his classmates were told to capitalize words that needed to be. Way 31 Sydney Martin reached out to Huntsville City Schools today after learning more from the parent about that assignment. I'm here at the Academy for Science and Foreign Language. One mom I talked to told me she thinks her son's assignment in grammar class about the Ku Klux Klan would have been better suited for history class. That should be staying in history class. Yeah, so, yeah, that was the wrong way to teach it. That's what one parent at the Academy for Science and Foreign Language has to say about her sixth grade son's recent grammar assignment. She says the students were learning capitalization Thursday, and a practice sentence in a workbook said how many Ku Klux Klan members are in Alabama. Sims explained the students were expected to capitalize the K's in Ku Klux Klan. I think it kind of scared the kids because some of them do know a little bit about it and what they do and, you know, what has happened with the KKK. I reached out to Michelle Watkins, the school board member for the Magnet School, about the situation. She told me it was an unfortunate incident and the district was making sure it wouldn't happen again. Sim said she also received a personal call from the principal and every other parent in the class did as well. He was also himself offended. Sim says she's satisfied knowing the lesson won't be taught again. It was just a poorly executed mistake. In Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. And the school district told us in a statement this afternoon the worksheet was a supplement given out to the class related to a fictional book students were reading. The spokesman said the worksheet was unacceptable and not vetted before it was given to students. Administrators took immediate steps to make sure proper screening will take place on classroom material in the future.